Today we're going to start working on solving rational equations. We're going to spend a couple days on this. Uh, not because it's hard, but because there's a lot of steps. I want to make sure that we're comfortable, okay? Patient with ourselves, things like that, right? So what we have here is two fractions set equal to each other, okay? When you have two fractions set equal to each other, we can solve this by cross multiplying. And in, whoa, and in fact, this is the only time we can use cross multiplication. It's kind of like a proportion, that kind of deal, okay? Only when it's a fraction and a fraction, not when it's anything else. There can't be anything else added or subtracted on either side, just one fraction and one fraction, okay? When we do this, we get 5 times x plus 8 equals, because that was this one, right? Now we need this one, 2 times 2x two minus 7. Well, this kind of equation you've been doing for a long time, and it's something that you're comfortable with, okay? So we just distribute here and here. We get 5x plus 40 equals, again, distribute here and here, 4x minus 14. Uh, now all we have to do is get all of our like terms together. They're on opposite sides of the equal sign, though, so we can't just like, you know, mash them together, okay? So we have to subtract 4x from both sides and subtract 40 from both sides. Are you go okay if I do two steps at one time? You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, so this is x, this is 0, this is 0, and this is negative 54. Are you sure that negative 54 is the right answer? Because a lot of times when you get an answer like negative 54, you're like, nope, I did something wrong, that's weird. How could you figure it out? Substitute it back in, right? So 2 over negative 54 plus 8 should equal 5 over 2 times negative 54 minus 7. Well, negative 54 plus 8 is what? Whoa, negative 46, 5 over, negative 54 times 2 is negative 108, minus 7 is negative 115. Yikes, that doesn't look equal, does it? But it's also not simplified either, is it? So if I simplify this, both of these numbers are divisible by 2, so I get 1 over negative 23, and I know both of these numbers are divisible by 5. 1 over 2, ah, oh, negative 23. Okay, so I know for sure now that this is the correct answer. Okay, <clears throat> here's another problem. Slightly different, shows you it's a different thing. Okay, it looks similar to begin with because, again, two fractions set equal to each other. Cross multiply, cross multiply. So I get negative 2 times x plus 21, and on this side I get equals x minus 3 times x plus 9. Now I did something on purpose. Did you see what I did? When I multiplied this, si this, this first problem, I said 5 times 8 and wrote that first. And I said 2 times this and wrote that over here. This time I said 2 times this and wrote it over here, and then this times this and wrote it over here. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter, right? So I, I just want to make sure that you knew that, um, that you were comfortable with that, okay? As long as you're multiplying the diagonals and writing it down and multiplying the diagonals and writing it down, we're going to set them equal to each other anyway, so it doesn't matter if this is on this side and this is on this side as long as they're set equal to each other, okay? So distribute here, negative 2x, distribute here, minus 42, equals, <coughs> excuse me, distribute x squared, plus 9x, minus 3x, minus 27. Now I just need to combine my like terms, and I get x squared, plus 6x, minus 27. But now look, what kind of problem is this? This is a quadratic, isn't it? How do we solve quadratics? We first we've got to get them equal to zero. That's exactly right. Okay, so let's do that first. So let's add two x to both sides. Again, am I? Am, are you okay with me doing two steps at once? So I, I'm going to add 42 to both sides as well. Okay, that does give me zero on that side. I get x squared here plus 8x plus 15. Okay. From this point, how can I solve this? We've done four or five different ways in class this year. So factoring, we could factor 
It is a quadratic, so we could use the quadratic, nope, quadratic formula. Or we could use our calculator by looking either at the graph. Uh huh. What are we looking for if we look at the graph? Where it crosses the x-axis. Perfect. Okay. What about, could we use the table? Yes. What are we looking for in the table? Where y is equal to 0. Okay. Good. Good. So which way do you want to do this? Factoring? Okay, we'll do factoring. So we say, well, this is leading coefficient of 1, so that makes it pretty easy for us, right? Because we say what multiplies to be 15 and adds to be 8. What two numbers multiply to be 15 and add to be 8? 3 and 5. X plus 3, X plus 5. If I have two factors set uh, multiplying together equal to 0, what do I do with each of those factors? I set those equal to 0, okay? So I have x plus 3 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0. Now I just have to solve each one of them. Minus 3 minus 3, x equals negative 3. Minus 5 minus 5, x equals negative 5. So are they both right? Is one of them right? Is neither one of them right? Check it. Yes, ma'am. So negative 2 over negative 3 minus 3 should equal negative 3 plus 9 over negative 3 plus 21. Well, negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 9 is 6. Negative 3 plus 21 is 18. Are those two fractions equal to each other? What does this simplify to? The negatives will simplify to 1 because a negative divided by negative, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1. And then I get 1 third. What does this simplify to? 1 third. Does negative 3 work? Yes. Negative 3 works. Negative 5. Negative 2 over negative 5 minus 3 should equal negative 5 plus 9 over negative 5 plus 21. Okay? So that gives me negative 2 over negative 8, which should equal negative 4 over, oh, positive 4, excuse me, over 16. Are those two fractions equal to each other? Because when you simplify them, you get 1 fourth equal 1 fourth. So does negative 5 work? Yes. So I'm absolutely positive of these two solutions because I've checked them to make sure that they work. Okay? Any questions? All right. Come see me in the morning if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a great day. Peace.